Hi, I'm Melinda Pongre. Welcome to Sissy Little Blog. And uh, please come back to the blog. We're going to have some more video clips and instructional strategies. And I'm going to talk today about my business, how I got into it. We should have some upcoming classes that you can click on and check out. So I started this business in 1997 after working with another door to learning in Tacoma, Washington. And I was about 15 years ago, I moved to Port Townsend. I grew up on the Olympic Peninsula, and I moved back here with two little girls. And the first job I got, one of the first jobs, was working as a special ed assistant at a local high school. And during my second year, I was at a symposium, and a speaker from Another Door to Learning, Judy Schwartz, was there, one of the co-founders. She was talking about helping people read that couldn't read in, say, 50 hours of work. She was talking about all these things that I wasn't seeing happening. I got really excited. I went up to her after her hour presentation and I asked her, okay, Judy, how do I learn everything you know as fast as I can? And a couple weeks later, I started taking classes in Tacoma, got some teachers to go down with me, and ended up taking a training there in the summertime, and then trying to work with students one-on-one -on -one about half the time as an EA. Uh, it was really exciting. So that's kind of how I got involved. After a while, um, I ended up they hired me and I worked part-time in Tacoma, but I wanted to work in our area. Um, having grown up in Port Angeles, uh, I had the experience of having a pretty good time learning at school and having fun most of the time at school and being put in a position. I remember a uh, teacher saying, okay, could you please go help X, Y, you know, this guy over here read or help him do his work. And we would both be embarrassed. I'd be embarrassed because I didn't know how to help him and I felt bad that he didn't know how to do it and he'd be embarrassed because I was helping him and it was really awful. Um, but what I found out from Another Door to Learning was there are things to do. People do learn. There are effective tools, and you don't have to struggle forever.